Welcome to Let's Fix It Right. In this episode, I'll show you how to save hundreds of dollars over the years by easily cleaning and reusing your refrigerator water filters for the cost of a container of distilled white vinegar. The filter in our previous refrigerator, a Samsung, cost approximately $23 and I recall these filters lasting 10 months to a year. Our new one is a Whirlpool. It's a great refrigerator with this center drawer. However, its filters cost approximately $50 and they only last 4 to 5 months before they need to be replaced. Consequently, rather than pay $150 a year replacing these filters, I developed a process to easily and quickly clean them. We don't have a lot of minerals in our water, but if you do, this expense could even be more for you. By the way, you can use this process on most filters to include inexpensive filters such as the Samsung filter that I mentioned previously. In my episode 48 video, I showed how to unclog your bathroom and shower faucet aerators with white vinegar. Successfully cleaning these aerators gave me the idea to use this approach to clean and reuse my expensive refrigerator water filter. In other words, if a white vinegar solution efficiently cleans faucet aerators, it will also successfully clean my refrigerator water and ice filter. Consequently, I decided to use the same process and this white cooking vinegar for cleaning my refrigerator water filter rather than buying new ones. In addition to a container of white vinegar for dissolving and removing mineral deposits inside the filter, you'll need a small tray similar to this one. Also in my case, I decided to purchase the new filter in the center as a backup. By the way, I recommend that you use white cooking vinegar similar to one of these two brands which you can purchase at your grocery store. And I strongly recommend that you not use an industrial cleaning vinegar like this brand. If you don't have any vinegar, I've included some links to the white cooking vinegar similar to mine. Go to the description below and select show more. Similar to our old refrigerator, the water filter in our new refrigerator is very easy to remove. You merely have to push this lever, pull the filter down, and twist and remove the filter. With the filter removed, place it into a tray or container similar to this one. Open up your bottle of white distilled cooking vinegar and fill the container to the top of the filter so the filter is completely submerged. The idea here is to use a container that is similar in size to your filter so you don't waste a lot of vinegar. And push the filter to the bottom so it is totally submerged. In this case I used about a third of the bottle of vinegar so the bottle would be good for about three filter cleanings and will last me approximately one year. I'll now let this soak for at least 24 hours. After letting the filter soak in fresh water for one day, I cleaned it a couple of times to flush out as much of the white vinegar as possible. While doing this, it's a good idea to determine if you can taste any of the vinegar in the water before you place the filter back into the refrigerator. It's important to flush out as much of the white vinegar as possible so it cannot contaminate your ice cubes and drinking water. With the refrigerator open, I'm reinstalling the clean filter back into its compartment. It's now locked in place and ready for testing. I'll now dispense some water for a taste test. As I anticipated, there's definitely a vinegar taste in the water. With a small amount of vinegar in the water system, I'll now drain several large containers of water to flush all of the vinegar out of the refrigerator water storage tank and water lines. I've taken five or six large containers out at this time and the water is fine. When I first sipped it, it did have uh, vinegar in it even though I let it soak for two days in a tray. So it's important to get all that white vinegar out of there. With the filter reconditioned, I expect it to last another four to five months before it needs to be cleaned again. Check your refrigerator manual to determine how to reset your dirty filter warning light and then reset it. When the light comes on again months from now, repeat this process. This concludes this episode where I showed you how to save hundreds of dollars 
by easily cleaning and reusing your refrigerator water filter for the cost of a container of distilled white cooking vinegar. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the YouTube bell so YouTube will notify you of all my new projects immediately after I publish them. At this time I'm moving on to my next project. You're more than welcome to follow. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. With all of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it.